Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Dark Souls 3. As you can see, I have given myself something of an anti-magic makeover. And I'm not confident that I can run by these knights. I actually don't know if that'll work. So, I'll fight them. Whatever. This guy really likes his lightning attacks. Now the good news is that once I get into the hallway, it's just a jog. I have given myself a great shield. It is not only beneficial because it's a great shield, but also it is my most anti-magic shield that I have, so best of both worlds. Now we have these deacons here. I will either successfully run past all of them, or I will get love tapped and then immediately heal. It looks like we got lucky this time. Now step one for this guy, get in there, like right away. Or else he'll do some magic shenanigans that'll really just ruin your day. Now, even though it looks like it's a very good opportunity to hit him when he does that, that portal will immediately kill me. So I, I have to take the, uh, the cautious way. Also, I shouldn't have done that. I should have left because... Thank God the pillar actually defends against those things. I wasn't 100% sure that would work. Alright. Melee is the best thing he can do. Even though it can two-shot me, and sometimes even one-shot me, I will much prefer it over his magic shenanigans. Speaking of which, get in there quickly, because if you don't, you'll pay for it. Now he leaves a fire trail, which is basically inconsequential, honestly. I know I'm just slowly walking and it's pathetic, but... Uh-oh. See, gotta be prepared. The problem is, as you can see, when he leaves, he automatically produces the soul mass, which sucks. Oh, speaking of sucks, watch this little trick. I had absolutely no business surviving that. The fact that I was on the grounds kept me alive. That was an unbelievable fluke, because those arrows don't give up easily. And it's a miracle I dodged that, because as you can see, it was a spinning attack with a second hit. He's gone. I gotta run. It is miraculous that I survived. I had no business at all surviving that. Also, this is incredibly lucky that he didn't cast a soul mask. That's, like, unbelievable. But, there's the soul mask, he left, so, you know. Get in there in case he does this. Okay, cool. Nifty, nifty. See, the problem is if he strikes me, I'm dead. So, you know, be very careful. See, that's where I could have finished him off. But, if that portal hit me, I would have died. I, if there's one thing I've learned from Dark Souls, it's don't get greedy, because you pay real... Uh, because you really pay for that. Now for the ma ma um, magical dodging part. Watch this little trick. I'm going to run right into him and hopefully not get blasted. Please, please. Thank God. That should have been a death sentence. It really should have. That's okay too, actually. Do another melee. No, this could be good. This could be good. It is not good. Impossible! I survived that? That's impossible! This is, like, the luck. Oh my god, this took a thousand tries and a half. I, I had no business surviving that.
Lord of Cinder Aldrich. Anyway, Cinders of a Lord and Soul of Aldric, that's cool. Oh, we're way the hell back here. But um, believe it or not, I'm actually not going to do this right now. Because I don't want to carry myself too far in the story. Even though this kills the mood completely, I know, I'm sorry. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is quickly level up, because I don't want to risk losing these souls. Definitely doing this right now. Um... Oh man, diminishing returns with strength, damn. Like, decks will still take me places, but... Maybe I'm good with strength for now. Vitality is also important, though. But also endurance, and I should probably do something with vigor. Like, for God's sake, right? Maybe I'll give myself a little more health, because I've, I've really been paying for this. I'm sorry. I know it's like the most duh thing if you're watching this playthrough, but... I got through Dark Souls 1 just fine without it, because I could pump my armor. And I'll put on my black iron set again. Yeah, all that silver. I tried and died a lot on this guy. That would be why I have a thousand silver knight pieces. Oh, I kept my black iron helm. I think I... Yeah, I can't wield my great shield anymore. Oh, no. Black iron. Oh my god, I can. Black Iron Set plus Great Shield. Oh, that's incredible, because I've been pumping my vitality as well. Freaking excellent. Okay. Now let's go right back to Unarlando, because I actually have reason to do that. Then I'll look at the item descriptions. Oh, there was a... teleport. And here we are in Unarlando. I didn't even notice until the last second. I can actually go straight to Aldrich, even though I didn't light that fire myself. Gorgeous. Let me tell you, this fight was a nightmare. I've gotten so many pieces of Silver Knight armor, so many Titanite shards. Anyway. Cinders of a Lord, left by the God Devourer, Aldrich. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves and return to cinders, Aldric became a lord by devouring men, but was disillusioned with his throne, and so took to devouring gods instead. And then we have the actual soul. This blue soul. When Aldric ruminated on the fading of the fire, it inspired visions of a coming age of the deep sea. He knew the path would be arduous, but he had no fear. He would devour the gods himself. Let's put that away for safekeeping. So cool. Also, my armor stuff. Katarina stuff I think is a little better than the Black Knight stuff, but we'll say. Um, Silver Knight Helm. Alright, this, uh, this can be sold. Silver Knight Gauntlets. Do I not have the Silver Knight Gauntlets? Huh, get out of here. Alright, I'll sell those two then. Okay. Anyway, why did I come back here? Because there's clearly nothing here. Uh, again! Gwyn. Guinevere. 
nothing here. I forgot if that was supposed to be Gwendolyn or if that was the the first son who's been erased. I love the little lore nods like that. But the reason I came here is actually very simple. Remember these things? Once you killed Orange, Steen, and Smog, you would take one of these elevators, because there's one on the opposite side too, and you would go up to see Guinevere and receive the ever-glorious Lord Vessel, which allows you to teleport. But that already happened in Dark Souls 1. We're done. So instead, I'll go up to her room and see what's here. Predictably nothing. You know, she was never here. But there still is a gift for me. The Sun Princess Ring, which I would have gotten from entering her Covenant in Dark Souls 1. Let's see what that's like. And yeah, I put the Ring of Favor on because, give me a damn break. Uh, gradually restores HP. Ring associated with Guinevere, Princess of Sunlight and eldest daughter of Gwyn, the First Lord. The ring is vaguely warm, like a beam of sunlight, and gradually restores HP. Guinevere left her home with a great many other deities. Like, what deities are we talking about? Like, again, I I've tried going through the gods in my head. Gwyn, Guinevere, Gwendolyn, his other kid. The fire god that Guinevere man uh, married that I don't even know, think we know the name of. Fina, the god that, or the goddess that Lautrec worshipped. And then Velka, goddess of sin, I believe. Anyway, she became a wife and mother, raising several heavenly children. So I guess those would be gods as well. Cool. Anyway, now that we've taken care of that business, we can at last return to Firelink and take care of other business there. I do like that you're rewarded if you remember the Ornstein and Smog victory thing from the first game. I don't believe there are any items up there, though, along the balcony, like Lostrex armor, so oh well. Let's go home now. Now, let us go chat it up with the shopkeeper. Oh, help. Ashen One, if my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. With, is it not the we, We've been there. Ashen One, with, is it not Is that really it? Then again, though. You know, we have one budding green blossom. The brief, like, look at this. The brief attached messages suggest that it was a gift. Goodbye, dear grandmother. I will visit grandfather in the Pit of Hollows. That is a very specific, weird, obscure hint. But the Pit of Hollows, do you remember where that area was? Because that would be where the covenant was with the vertebrates, like the Hodrick thing. Now, I'm not going to go directly to the Pit of Hollows, but rather, Dilapidated Bridge. Would you look at that sky? What is that, like a solar eclipse? You can see the corona? It's freaking amazing. This wasn't like that before, was it? That is creepy. Anyway, I guess I'll fight this guy. Who just roars at me. Huh, <laughs> didn't hurt that much this time, did it? Oh yeah, the graveyard area where... I will not be helped by the giant throwing spears anymore on account of the giant being dead. Too bad for me. Ah, I knew he was coming, but I didn't react quite in time. Worker garb, just what I need. Red eyes. Who still does not die in one hit. Oh well.
So as I said, I'm not teleporting directly to the Pit of Hollows. I am going to how you would otherwise get to the Pit of Hollows. And I don't mean being carried there by the servant. I mean... <laughs> the area before the boss fight that took me to the Pit of Hollows. This is where I want to be. Let's heal. Yeah, it's a little better. Alright, let's uh, answer the call. Sirius of the Sunless Realms. She wants my help. Now we're in the Pit of Hollows. I finally found you. Just as I promised, Grandad. Remember? It's Hodrick. And he's got hell for days, jeez. And he's the real thing, too. He's not some phantom. I want him concentrating on me, because as you can see, he already did a bunch of damage to Cirrus, which is not cool. Damn, he just keeps catching me with his shots. Because if he kills Cirrus, then she's dead for good. Like, it's over. So I cannot have her die. I want him to concentrate on me. And I don't like that he healed all that. Aha, caught ya. If he could just concentrate on me, then we're gonna be in good shape. I don't know what the hell that was. Did he just like poison himself for more damage? Like, he must have done something to power himself up. That really hurt. Yeah, I do not want him going after Cirrus when he's powered up. He can two-shot me. Which I guess isn't saying much, because anyone can two-shot me. But you know what I mean? I don't know what the hell Cirrus is doing, by the way. If she wants to come over and help, then, you know, she could be my guest. Nice shot, Cirrus. His blood power wore, wore off, so that's good. Nice. Just keep him from healing. No. Oh, he got her. She's not dead, though. It's alright. It's alright. Even if I do die, I can just immediately bring myself back in here, because I'm a phantom. I do not have to worry about... Oh, the big heal. I don't have to worry about losing Cinder or anything because I'm a phantom. But we got him. That was tough. That was tough, but we got him. Duty fulfilled. Good night, Granddad. That's it. And we're back. For efficiency's sake, let's use a homeward bone to the Shrine Bonfire. And hey, look, she's back. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight? I mean, of course. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. That was Blessing weird. of the moon upon your journey. Just cut off part of that text, but okay. Yeah, so now I think uh, I can summon her when, well, when I see a sign. If I may ever be of, I am your not blessing. Yeah, okay. This will be good. I may ever be I'll let this play out. I am your knight forever and true. 
blessing of the moon upon your journey. I don't know why some of the words just aren't spoken, but anyway, this time I will actually go to the Pit of Hollows directly. And what do you know? The sun set. Armor set. Helm of Hodrick, Holy Knight of the Sunless Realms. This light gold helm named for its sunset hues is now faded and wrapped in tainted rags. The sorry fool was known to wander the battlefield as a crazed ghoul, lashing out at friend and foe alike. Depressing. Yep, that's just too bad. Okay, now that I've taken care of this little thing, we can actually go and advance the plot. I'm just going to go ahead and sell my extra armor pieces and put the sunset stuff away. There we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of my extra equipment. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's how you figure out that little side quest. There's a single budding green blossom and you have to read the flavor text, which no longer even exists on it. Like that that's insane. Oh wait, no, that was for buying. But still. Yeah, like come on. How are you gonna figure that out? Anyway, selling the armor pieces. Helm, worker, silver, silver, worker. Okay, that's that. I'll see if there's a pyromancy I can buy real quickly just because I'm here right now. I don't even know if I can afford it. No, I actually bought him out. Okay. Do not be like. Then I guess Carla. Although her stuff is quite expensive. Yeah, there's not much I can do. The other ten thousand thing, I guess. Why not? Well, the other one on the bottom row. Jeez. Don't stir up any trouble. Okay, now let's go ahead and go to where we were teleported to, <laughs> and then just abandon ship. This one. Yeah, been a long time since we've been back here, huh? Would you look at that sky? Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, it was the other way. Yeah, we're way back at the beginning of the game. I forgot I had to use the the sign to open that church that that woman was in. So I guess we're just doing that now. Right, these guys are all dead. And these guys are of no consequence. Or nearly no consequence. Yeah, that didn't even do anything. Goodbye. There are some Lothric knights around here, I think. Yeah. These guys used to be quite terrifying, but I can two-shot them, which is unbelievable. Great shields make a difference, man. Look at that. These enemies used to be so scary. And here we are. I did it. We're in. Not so bad. A little bit of a jog, but barely any resistance. So, hello. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be. 
Basin of Vows. Oh, she's gone. Is that like the Lord Vessel or what? Place Basin at a statue of a beheading knight. Chalice used in an old ceremony in which Lothric knights take their vows. It is only a formality now, but it remains as an empty practice. Place it at the statue of a beheading knight. Oh dear. What? That is some look. This is one of the very few bosses I'd heard of coming in. Dancer of the Boreal Valley. And I've heard this thing walks or moves in like some kind of rhythm. And has health. Although what do you want? It's a boss. Ooh. Second swing. Thank you, shield. What can I say? Thank you, armor. What can I say? Okay, alright, alright. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's probably bad if I'm around for that. Oh, tricky. See, it's okay. Damn. Whoa, really? Oh, okay. Let's go in. Oh, that's so unsettling. You know, I don't feel that that was an even trade-off. That is an insta-kill. I cannot be grabbed or I will die. Again, insta kill. Can not be grabbed. Watch this little. It's a miracle I wasn't hit by that. Or that, frankly. I deserve that. See, now it gets scary because I just don't have the stamina to block her many attacks and if I do block them then I don't have the stamina to 
swing back. I can't believe I went through all of that. What a pro. What a hero. Okay. Was that some dark damage or something? She's chipping a little bit. I deserve that. Okay. I don't like being against the wall when I'm dealing with that awesome attack. Great music, too, by the way. Let's just heal again. Ah. I was wondering if I could get away with that, and it turns out I actually can not. Jeez, I couldn't even see for that one. I'll let her chill over there. If she leaps, I'm just gonna die. God damn. It's quite the reach. That's how you do it. Get a couple of shots. Two's enough. As you can plainly see. <laughs> no thanks. Gorgeous attacks, but I really can't be around for these, thank you. As you can see, one little poke, and it's over, right? I love that attack, but I can't be around for it. That took a bunch of tries, but that was an awesome fight. Soul of the Dancer. Pontiff Sullivan bestowed a double slashing sword upon a distant daughter of the formal royal family, ordering her to serve first as a dancer and then as an outrider knight, the equivalent to exile. Now there should be something for me now that this fight is over. Oh, duh. There's also the, the fire. In fact, you know what? You know what? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll come back here later. I'll level up now. Well, it's very well done. All right, what do I want to give myself? Maybe just more health. I, I really probably should be doing this. Farewell, Ashen Maiden. There we go. Uh, let's go buy more from Carla. And there's also stuff I could surely buy from Yuria. Actually, speaking of Yuria, now that I think about it, Carla refused my divine creepy braille tome. Although, did I? Oh, uh, did I give that away? Yeah, no, nah, I gave it to uh, Irina. I probably should have given that to Yuria. I'll see if I can't do anything about that later. Too bad for me. Oh well. Uh, yeah, the most expensive one. And then there's the one that ties are most expensive. I can't get that, so... Fire Whip, why not? Don't stop. You're my apprentice. All right, there we go. Now let's teleport right back to the dancer's bonfire. There we are, and look at that. There is a ladder. This is where I can place the bazin. I was going to do that before, got interrupted, but now we'll put it down. Brutal statue. Ooh. Really? Really? What was in there that... 
that happened. There we go. There's my exit. We are back at the beginning of the game, but we have an exit to this new area. Now doesn't that look interesting? But for now it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We went from one boss to another. Aldric, Devourer of Gods which I believe concludes our business in Anor Londo, aside from if we feel like doing the Darkmoon Covenant, and then the Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Incredibly elegant, incredibly graceful, incredibly deadly. But now that we took her out, we have access to a still newer area. More and more exploration to be done. Until next time, everyone.